So the Lord be with you. We be with you. This is James Wood, my friend here. We worship together in Christ Church here in Tremor. And this being the Sunday, the third Sunday in Advent, we particularly think of the role of Mary. And uh, this path here was, in a way, a result of um, a, a visit to Knock Shrine in County Mayo. Uh, where uh, the travel expenses kindly that Richard, um, his father Richard Gibbons uh, gave the rector in, in, in Knock Shrine. Um, I didn't want them, but he said, do something that helps you remember your visit to Knock Shrine. And James very kindly stepped in and helped to build this path. How did you build the path, James? Uh, I enjoyed praying with the church of Christ uh, Tremor and uh, I enjoy laying the uh, path working in the church of Christ in Tremor through travel sergeant he gave me the opportunity to work and I'm thankful to him you did a great job and I think you, you, you took up the grass and you put down sand and cement is that yes right? that is what I did through you, you give the guideline to work on it. You are the <laughs> original architecture. Well, now you're the wonderful builder and a strong yes. man. He's very strong. Yes. Uh, definitely a great man to do a day's work. Uh, that's for sure. Thank God. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, now in praising God, we echo the words of Mary. And I think you're going to read for us the Magnificat, James. Yes, Father. Ready or not. Ready or not. Yeah, ready or not. <laughs> Magnificat. The song of the blessed Virgin Mary, my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoice in God, my Savior, who has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generation will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their throne and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hunger with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant to remember the promise of mercy the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, thank you to James for that impassioned reading of the Magnificat, which is not just found, of course, in the prayer book, but also in the Bible, in Luke 1, verses 46 to 55, in the context of Mary telling her cousin Elizabeth that she's pregnant, and she expresses that joy in the words of the Magnificat, which is also a prayer, a prayer of love and trust and belief that we worship a God of justice. And I only recently read that in Nicaragua, during those terrible years of dictatorship under the Somoza regime, lasted 43 years, the poor in Nicaragua used to, used to carry the words of the Magnificat in their lining of their clothing, in their inside pockets, just as a hope and a, a, as a belief and a prayer that God would scatter the proud in their conceit, would cast down the mighty from their thrones and lift up the lowly. And as we read in the Magnificat, God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich empty away. So as we approach Christmas in this season of Advent, we're reflecting on the legacy of John the Baptist and um, showing reverence to the Blessed Virgin Mary, to St. Paul, all the saints. But it's important to remember they all have one thing in common, and that is to point to Jesus as our Saviour, as the light in our darkness, as our hope for brighter days. So let's conclude with a hymn 
based on the Magnificat, written by Michael Perry, uh, music by Donald Davison, and it's hymn 704 in the church hymnal. Neri sang a song, a song of love. I just get the guitar. Mary sang a song, a song of love, magnified the mighty Lord above. Melodies of praise his name extolled from the very depths of Mary's soul. God the Lord has done great things for me, looked upon my life's humility. Happy shall they call me from this day, merciful is he whom we obey. To the humble soul, our God is kind, to the proud he brings on ease of mind. Who uplifts the poor, pulls down the strong, God alone has power to right the wrong. This was Mary's song, as we recall, Mother to the Saviour of us all. Magnify his name and sing his praise, Worship and adore him all our So let us pray. O God, our Creator and Father, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your ways higher than our ways. How wonderful is your love for each of us. As Mary obeyed you and trusted you, loved you and was made happy by the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, may we, through our obedience, trust and love, receive you into our hearts, today and always. Amen. So please join with James and myself in saying the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas, everybody. Oh.